switch my whatever. I'll take advantage of my accent. I'll switch to golden shower. Okay, even though it's so hard right now, I think I'm actually outraining the water. As hilarious as that sounds. It's actually kind of great at the same time. Yeah, the water is just kind of being weird right now. It's actually kind of great for me, not so great for the water. You know the drill. The Benadryl. I don't know why I made a Benadryl reference. I really don't. It's one of those points where you know you run out of things to say and then you just start saying stuff. You know, like every single thing I record. <laughs> Can I reach that point? Seems often and early. Right, so we'll throw that there just so I have some semblance of light. Fair bit of sand down here. Which is actually good for me. So here's where I first came down. I have no idea what Plantera bulbs would even look like, but I'm lucky for them. Well, I'm looking for my shelter, I'll probably shift my focus to something else. I look more. Okay, yeah, the game is starting to lag a little bit here. I'm not entirely sure why, but I'm gonna just assume that it's for no good reason. And done. Just push some of that. And back down we go. Why the bar clearing that just in case mummy spawns there and I need to find it. Because everything I'm doing right now is just for spawn rates of mummies, mostly. So I would like to find some. Problem is I'm gonna need to wait for this water to mostly drain out. Just so I can get them to spawn this area as well. And here he comes, and he's done. Am I laying the water in here? Once again, spawn ray of mummies. It's all for the spawn ray of mummies, people. Alright. So have some pearl sand. As far as I know, mummies will only spawn in pearl sand. Meaning, just paint the world in pearl sand and you will have yourself mummy spawns that are more frequent. Actually, I'm going to pour by the way I'm looking for. There we are. That seems like a decent amount of uh, stuff for now. We'll now head down in this direction. Why? Well, why not? Put a stick down here just so I can see until this water has drained. That and continuing on our descent. Our amnesia, the dark descent. Nah, there's no reason for that one. I don't know why. I, I just start saying stupid stuff and then it just. Recording goes to stupid, basically. I need to stop paying five. Uh, 
kill, 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 and good. Yeah, I don't need you. I don't think anyone needs you, to be completely honest. Alright. Fight this, good. There's some glowing mushrooms over here. It's not the optimal place to do it, but you might as well do it. Those horror drains. And we'll likely hunt here. Why? Because why not? Plant Terrible will be somewhere down here. I'm just not sure entirely where it will be. I'm also not entirely sure where the whole area I need to be would be. The temple. The, the basically it's the dun it's the hard mode dungeon. More or less. Actually, where am I on the map? Exploring this basic area, actually. Hmm. Well, if the temple was here, I think I've seen, like, images of it on the wiki. It would take up roughly about this much room. So if it was here, it might be here, but I seriously doubt it because, yeah, that would be ground. So I don't think it would be there. So if anything, I should probably just try and meet up with where I previously dug. And see how that works out for me. Who knows, maybe I'll find their hive, though I think I'm a bit high for that still. The only reason I am down here outside of the core fight is... Basically to try and at least locate the lizard temple. Wherever it's called. Oh, this is a water thing. No, it's not. I'm just dumb. Dumb with vision. Okay, good. Kill him. Do this. It's always good to have a decent line of sight, I would say. Gold, oh, that's always useful. Torches, those are always much appreciated, and another region band. Sure, why not? Let's throw that out. Let's also throw that out. Let's also throw this out. And this actually I have two nature's gifts on me. Wild and quick. And I really don't need these. This, however, I will need. Glorify it. Speaking of corp, right, there's some right here. Alright, now we're getting some green tier ore. Which is basically like the end game tier. The new end game tier, I should say. Not the old end game tier. Screw the old end game tier. Out with the old and in with the new. The new end game tier. Alright, let's break that. And let's just break on through to your side. Not sure what that was down there, but I'm probably going to want to check it out. Like that. Okay, I thought it was something else. It's just some stupid stuff. Alright, so far so good. Him, kill you. Kill you as well. I'd like to start getting some turtle shells, because apparently with turtle shells you can make the best armor in the game. Like, at least defensively, the best armor in the game. I believe it actually provides 100% protection from melee attacks, too. So it's pretty good. Because the new tier of endgame armor is apparently just ridiculous. Wow, I actually died. I definitely was not paying attention to my health that time. Well, I'm going to go back there and retrieve all my gold. So, first and foremost, let's just do that. 
before worrying about anything. Let's see if I can remember exactly where I took the path. The not-so-beam path. I think it wasn't too far down from here. I think it was right at this intersection, actually. Because, you know, digging straight down tends to make intersections for really no good reason. Let's go here. Yep, this is looking familiar, so I definitely went this way. Also getting a bunch of crystals growing down here. It's too bad I really don't plan on using them. Otherwise, I would probably be harvesting the ever-loving crap out of them. But whatever. For now, I'd like to just kind of head over here. No, honesty, I think it's actually possible for the lizard biome, wherever it is, to spawn closer to a surface that would be deep underground. There's actually probably a good chance in that regard that it's really not deep. Which would actually be really good for me. So the less deep I have to go, that means just the less traveling in general I have to do if I die there. Problem is I can't get into there anyway without the key. And I have no idea if I will ever find the key. I would like to find the key. Who knows if I'll ever be that lucky, though. Alright. I also passed up a lot of ores now that I think about it. Probably just murder him. Get him out of the way. And using my awesome pickaxe doom, let's just get this stuff out of the way. This horror fight is kind of really good. I think it's pretty sure it's a step up from a uh, hallowed. And I think it's also an extra step up even from that. Now with core fight, I believe you can make just a standard core fight armor, but I believe you can also make the best ranged melee and magical armor in the game from all three. I think you can make you can use the mushroom bars to make the best ranged armor. Or I think you can stick with ectoplasm, which I have no idea where you get it from. I'm pretty sure ectoplasm is something you can do. With the ectoplasm, I believe you make the best mage armor in the game. I'm just going, trying to remember why I read off the wiki a few days ago. Because I didn't read this recently, I read this a few days ago. And I think the best melee armor in the game, you use this with turtle shells. I still don't have turtle shells, so. And it's probably going to be a while before I do. Okay, so here's where I died. Died being an idiot, as usual. This is the one series where I will say that pretty much 90% of my deaths are usually my own damn fault. About 90%. Another life fruit, good. I always use more of these. Let's get rid of that. Let's just get rid of this. And let's just hit 9, and there we go. It's five health, it's not much, but it's good enough for me. Also, don't really know why I even bar B nades. Oh shit, do not want for those. Well, they are good weapons, so. I hope I can do some work with them. But they have a fair bit of work on the Hornets, I'll tell you that much. Alright, so here's the problem. I've got the little Mr. Turtle here. And I should probably drink a potion just for safety. More light. More lightless problems. Alright. So far, so good so far. Done. Not long grapple there. Long grapple right here. There we go. Why? So I can just basically mine all this adamant that I don't actually really need anymore. To be completely honest. Oh, there was a time when adamant was the best. Matter of fact, it was last session. It was also before I knew about, you know, 
stuff the unhallowed. So basically this stuff at this point is literally just nothing but a cash grab. Brad, I do kind of need the cash, so. Cash grabs aren't all bad. I'm also getting to the point where I should probably start considering ending my session. Why did I do... Oh, I'm out of torches, aren't I? I'm probably out of torches. Is that a real chest or is that a mimic? Oh, that's a real chest. Um, a real chest that I already looted. Derp. In our chest up here. I've definitely not looted yet. Um, another band of regeneration. Gold's always nice. Gravitation potions. Healing potions. I really can't see right now. Because I can't see, I think I'm gonna just. Go back up, make more torches, get more wood, because I'm actually really low on wood. Store the gold that I found so far. Because that's basically how I've been doing it, is I just basically get gold, throw it in here. That way, in the event that I do die, I don't lose all my gold. Or at least half my gold. Basically, just being smart with gold has basically... Okay, seriously, you can't hit my chest, asshole. I can hate the merchant. Whatever. I honestly should do like why I did in my air series and just make a proper chest room. Without any tables or anything that so NPCs aren't constantly in it. Also that's an emerald um metal ore. Magic cover, amethysts. For stars, I can probably just throw all these jungle seeds. Don't need more moon glows. And the regen. I'm probably gonna do this. I'm probably gonna make a couple or like uh, mana flowers if I can. Depends if I have the potions or not. So I do need mana potions for this. Uh, you're new. All right, so we get some pirate stuff here. Oh boy, that's. The can does a lot of damage. The problem is it reloads very slowly. Alright. So I'm going to make a couple more mana flowers. I just want to see what enchantments I get on them. If any. I do like that the Golden Tinkerer is actually in the proper place now. Normal ass mana flowers. How much does it cost to reforge one of these again? Not a lot, actually. All depends. What is my current mana flower that I have in my chest? Do. It's lucky. Not the greatest. Because reforging is kind of cheap now, so I'm going to take this. Sure, I really don't need any of these gems either now that I think about it. I threw my die chest in, I, um. Yeah. Okay, let's throw these here. Throw this here. <clears throat> a lot of random crap going on right now. Kind of apologize for it, but at the same time, yeah. It's necessary. Necessary to do it. Gotta do it. Right. I definitely don't need more of these on me then. How's my air quiver? Because I know I have more than one of these. This is a violent one. Oh, you don't need the bleeding as much, so what I will do is I'll probably just sell that quiver. Probably sell this as well. We'll see. I actually haven't used my spear yet either, now that I think about it. Should probably get around to using it. I should also probably get around to ending my session. So I'll do that right after I reforge. What was it? Man flower? No. I don't want to reforge it. I want to... Okay, I'll hear menu. Shop with you first. 
sell this magic quiver. And I'll sell this band of regeneration. There's another one down there if I need it. And I have seven gold. Reforge. This is already reforged. Hasty mana flower and quick. Let's just cost the uh, I think I'd rather have the crit strike chance then. Actually, wait. Let's see. This is like 3 gold to reforge. This is 3 gold 60. Is this the same? No, it's 340. What's this? 360. Huh. Suppose I could sell one of these. I really don't need quick. Forge. Angry. Not entirely what I was hoping for, but you know what? I want the crit strike. What do I want? Let's see, I have 57 defense total. What is my crit strike chance overall? Uh, wherever the armor gives me. So it'd be 8% crit strike chance for this. And what's the damage increase? It'll go up 21% with this. Ah, <sighs> decisions. Having my crits up to 10% would probably be vastly better at this point. Yeah, I think it will. So let me just, uh, Yeah. Not even might agree with that, but I'm already pretty much close to 20% damage, so I really don't need the extra 3% right now. And I think the crit strike chance is probably going to be far more useful. Because crit strike gives double damage. In fact, if I got enough accessories to increase my crit strike chance, I could probably just own everything, to be completely honest. Because criticals are really good. Where right now, not dying to stuff is really good as well. Unfortunately, though, I think I have to have my recording here, but that's fine. So we did a fair bit today. I would really love to go find whatever lizard biome is wherever. But unfortunately, that didn't happen. So there's where I explored today in the jungle. Kind of just cut a path through there, so now we know for sure there's really nothing around there. I need to make more torches, which actually I could have made torches down there now, I think, but whatever. So I think next time we're probably just going to try and find the Plantera Bulb in this area. I'm probably going to try to find one off screen actually. I'm not going to fight it. Actually, what time of day or night is it? To be completely honest, what time is it? It's dusk. Should I try fighting the twins? So I can probably fight the twins. I think I'll try fighting the twins before I leave. Just to see how my current setup works. Um, I have literally nothing on me. <laughs> Wait, no. Is it lenses to make the twins? Crafting. Accidentally right click the clock, whatever. Ankle eye, yes. I've got basically literally everything I need to fight the twins right now. Hmm. Also, I'm at, how much does it cost to reforge these butterfly wings? Just out of interest. 20 gold, that's a lot. I'm not gonna give up the defense. At least not yet. We'll have to give up the armor advantage to for this mana flower. This is gonna be a terrible night. Is that the twins message? I think that's the twins message. I don't even need to make the twins thing. Wow. Lucky me. Okay, well, before anything, I need to grab the mana potions, because mana flower will do nothing without mana potions. Alright, so we got that. Weapons. A forceful mushroom spear. Also, deadly golden shower, and my chakrams, and... In theory, I should have everything I need for this fight. 
Alright, here's my last two attempts at fighting him. There we are. Wow. That glitched out. Okay, twins, come come at me. I'm ready for you. It does not go through blocks. So I'm going to make a slight pull here. Just in case. There's a reason for the hole. And yeah, that was a twin message. Um, yeah. I think I'd like to deal with the guy up here first. Um, yeah. As you can see, these guys are clearly kind of assholes. Okay, yeah, the golden shower is actually quite good for this, but the problem is these guys are terrible to fight. Maybe I should go for this guy first. A seven drink potion. Maybe the ranged weapon would be better at this point. Oh yeah, the ranged weapons add up. Oh yeah, range, range is the way to go right now. Shit, I don't have enough time for potions right now. Ah, uh, crap. This is about to end poorly. Yeah, this is not ending well. Shit, it was one second away. Crap. So that's basically how the twins fight is going to go. N not very well. Well, I said we tried the twins before playing, and yeah. I just need to get better at our dodging them. Well, dodging them for sure, yes. That's something I definitely need to get better at. Didn't get a chance. Wow, this thing has reach. Maybe I should have tried this. Problem is when they charge me, it's not exactly a viable option. Let's see, can I find an enemy to try this on before I quit? Can I? Enemy? Enemy at the gates? No? Really? Nothing? Well, I almost took half the night fighting that thing. I didn't even get it to its second form. See, stuff like that is the reason why I basically use a ton of bullshit. Huh. Maybe I would have done better if I left the roof on the thing. I don't think, but... Okay, yeah, the spear can definitely hit multiple times. Actually, why I like the spear. The spear's long reach, though, is... Oh, that can do a lot of damage. This spear could potentially be really, really good. It's also a gold tier. If I can get in the sweet spot, I can probably do massive damage. Like, that was over 100 right there. Problem is, the spear needs to hit the sweet spot in order to do its damage, and if they get on top of me, it's not going to do the damage I want it to do. Also, I never broke this demon altar. No well, more palladium, I guess. What oh, do the mushrooms actually do damage? Oh, the mushrooms actually do damage too. They're not just trailing particle effects, they're actually damage-inducing particles. And it goes through walls. Oh my crap. Best weapon ever. Okay, yeah. This spear. I've got some really, really good melee weapons right now. Okay. I didn't want to do that. Okay, please open the door, thank you. So off screen, I'm actually I'm probably not gonna fight the twins off screen just in case my new strategy that I'm 
thinking about in my head actually does work. Which would be to just basically do this while you're chasing me. Or should I do that? Depends. After he shoots a six, I just do this and create a trail of particles from the rain to then jump over him and do this. I don't know. We better do this and then jump over him and this. Work. That would only work with him chasing me though. It would not work very well for otherwise. Let's create a nice wall though. There is a lot of potential in this weapon that I'm currently liking. Oh yeah. This spear. But we're gonna have to wait to use this spear till next time. So I hope you guys have enjoyed and I will see you guys later when I hopefully have figured out the perfect way to murder the twins without using my Hellstone cheatery. Which is what I normally use. Whatever. See you guys later.